straight up 9 o'clock, and we're cranking out Thursday Night Fever on TNT, featuring a five-man band out of Seattle that skyrocketed up the charts a year ago. In fact, these guys made it all the way to the number two spot. But now there's just one thing on their minds. Thursday Night Fever with the Rockets and the Sonics. Hey, now here's the latest from that smash duo they call Bob and Chuck. Thank you, EJ, the uh, DJ, apparently. Well, to stay with your theme, EJ, we have some Seattle grunge being provided here by the Sonics and some golden oldies as it were, from the Houston Rockets. The Rockets lead in this series, three games to two. The road team has won four out of five games in this highly competitive series. Five, George Carl listened to the advice of Payton and put Gary Payton, the glove, on Maloney. Five. Kemp's gonna try a three. Rebound, Barkley. He hasn't thrown out of yet. Elijah Wan defending John Kemp. That's the roll, and it's 2-0 Sonics draw first blood. They, they like this matchup because they like to get Kemp in early foul trouble, and he's averaged about five fouls a game. He stepped away from there, and Barkley missed the short gimme. Peyton's going to pull up and drain the three. Five to nothing, Seattle. Again, Drexler misses the three. Elijah Wan kicks it loose. Heads up play by Elijah Wan on the baseline. Barkley missing. He's missed two shots early. Kemp, look at him handling. That's the power forward in the open floor. Houston 0 for 4 early in this game. And that's the shot they wanted from Hawkins. Plus, it bumps his defender off some uh, screens there to wear him out a bit. Inside to Elijah Wan, who missed it from point blank range. Range as they trail 9 too early. Kemp runs it down. Five. Kemp rebounds. And he's fouled on the drive. And right now, the Sonics much more aggressive offensively have got all out. Barkley, who's one for four, goes down, loose ball. We've got a foul call. And there, Elijah Wan has to take a desperation shot from the three-point line. Hawkins! Timeout, Houston. Listen to the crowd at Key Arena. Over half court, down inside to Elijah Wan, who missed another crip shot, and Barkley tipped it in. Clyde Drexler badly misses the three. Eight on the shot clock, good feed from Elijah Wan direction. Barkley back clock by Kemp, shot clock to three. To Charles Barkley. Elijah Wan's going to take it on himself. It just barely went in. That's a tight rim for Akeem, his first field goal of the night. In the circle. Ellie fell down. Peyton fakes the shot. Kemp on the baseline over Elijah Wan, who laid back on him a little bit. Every pass contested by Seattle. Elijah Wan missing again. Pockets a chance to make a couple of runs. So before we ride him off, we'll wait. However, <laughs> it's looking pretty Seattle night. What a great fast break by Gary Payton. Elijah Wan didn't even think about shooting. They're now hesitant he... because they don't know where all the trouble's coming from. And did you see that? That ball rolled over the back of the rim. Willis now defending Sean Kemp. What a spin move by Kemp. Reverse action up between two guys. Get it inbounded on the far sideline with a new 24-second shot clock. Sean Kemp on the, that was the trailer on the fast break. Watch carefully here. Spin crosses over, goes up, body on body, and good spin off the glass. Here's 13 points scored by Houston in the first period. That's their lowest production in the playoffs for a quarter this year. He gets the call over Maloney. Oh! Elijah Wan. Having trouble getting the ball in the basket. It ra rattles in on both his hoops first half. It's no secret the Sonics don't like to play against small teams because it gives them a lot of problems because of the ball handling. Like that. 
Seattle to score. They went on seven and nine to nothing runs to start the game. With the one basket being scored in the middle by Houston. Sean Kemp, baseline, just returned to the game. There he comes, crosses over under, uses the glass, spins it. And here, trailer on the fast break, and he's going to incite the crowd. And George is able to use his bench and put a little bit more pressure on the force. Houston Rockets to go one on one and make big shots every time down. Just like you saw. Here is Wingate handing off to Kemp after the excellent penetration. Three. Willis comes away with a loose ball. You see the intensity from Seattle. Elijah Wan with two jumpers back to back. The penetration. Air ball. Kemp has it blocked by Elijah Wan. Look at Snow scramble for the ball. Seattle. Well, and it's happening again. Yeah, they're very quick to lose ball, but there's Kemp trying to make an impossible shot against three guys. But look at Snow on the floor, and they've been quick. <laughs> He's having himself a whale of a time here. Kemp, unmolested to the basket, missed the lay-in. If Houston has the energy to make a big comeback tonight, they're within some kind of range. Well, the Rockets just have to be careful. They don't try to do too much on every possession. And there's another turnover. From emoting. Elijah Wan pulls down the board. He's been active there for such tough position. Couldn't move to get the ball. Kemp. It looks like he's hurt. He passes out to Cumming. Looked like he got popped in the left eye again. Cummings hits the basket. The lob to Elijah Wan. Wise play. 3.2 seconds. Wasn't so much the way they were playing. Give the Sonics credit. They have done what they've had to do at home in what is a necessary demanding game the shot anywhere he wants out of that play if not he gets it in there somebody got a piece of that and the ball comes up into the ball. and he still has sore feet Elijah Wan. this is what they have to do get penetration then dish off like Perkins works Hawking uh, kept with the drive and it was raked away good defense interior defense pass 14 Here's Kim, being defended by Elijah Wan, who punches it away. Ellie comes for the double team. That left Ellie's over there, Peyton, and make easy shots for these other people. But there we see Elijah Wan doing what he can really do block shots. Eight on the shot clock. Shrimp. Kim. And he's fine. Kemp had a jump shot and took it to trouble period then the five quick sonic points into elijah Wan. that's a man to go to he misses again but he's fine and here come the rockets they've stolen a couple of games here and there is a technical foul first the personal on cummings who picked up his third personal foul and the technical foul is going to be called on a team elijah one coming back to get spaced by two or three steps Maloney on the baseline tried to go to Barkley turn immediate trap in the corner immediate turnover Peyton Kemp fouled by three the last time they got it into Barkley in the corner they trapped him they go to Willis this time he gets the trap and let's see if they're going to get a foul or the elbows Kemp and Willis you know there's bad blood there between Kemp and Willis already it's been brewing all night long and Kemp is really upset that they better get control of him. he got hit right in the mouth with an elbow think seriously about getting him out of the game and let him cool down let's take a look right here Kemp rules in and well, look at the punch throw oh boy that was a clear thrown punch look at this again Chuck let's take a look at it First Watch. the elbow. Let's see what happened. Oh, there's the elbow by Willis. Yeah. Flagrant elbow. And then there's an elbow. Yeah. But only Willis got the flagrant. So it runs into a double team. Three gets it down inside to Akeem Olajuwon. He hesitated and almost missed his shot, but instead will get an opportunity for three. And now Drexler and Detlef Shrimp are exchanging words down on the baseline. Well, there's going to be bad blood developing. It has been developing all night, particularly in the low post. Yeah, here's a look at it again. You know, right before this period began, the officials huddled up and had a meeting about control. 
Well, I'm, you know, we've got veteran officials here, and they're going to take a long look at this. They're going to get this under control, and there is the problem between those two guys. Cummings involved. It's blood all over his shirt. He's got a pretty nasty cut on the upper part of his lip. Happened on the elbow by Kevin Willis. All they did is put gauze in the mouth and let him press. Cummings is in foul trouble, so they get the situation straight up, and they need Kemp for the backboard. Elijah Wan gets it to Willis. Fouled again down the paint. Clock running down. You've got to get inside. Elijah Wan was patrolling the middle. He loses possession. Into Elijah Wan against Perkins. Single coverage. The dream shake. And his club knows it. Here's the trap by Houston again. And the turnover, but first the foul. It's going to be on Akeem Elijah Wan. That's his second. The Sonics have to keep the ball in the hands of Peyton for the most part, although Kemp takes the basket there. Kemp playing Peyton. The Sonics a little bit out of tempo. Akeem Elijah got his hands on that ball twice before Sean Kemp got it up to the shot, but he's going to be called for the foul. And that's three. So Sean Kemp will go to the free throw line. Kemp has 17 to go with 10 rebounds. Watch, watch Kemp go right into trouble, and that's where he sometimes gets into trouble because he tries to take it up against the shot blocker so close. Into Elijah Wan. Five fouls on Cummings. And so he can't defend Elijah Wan, and he gets the jam, and it is now a 10-point Sonics lead. On both ends of the court. Getting him mad has it worked. Elijah Wan open underneath again. Remember, Cummings is playing him with five fouls. Drexler back to Elijah Wan, spinning, blocked by Hersey Hawkins. Five on two. He's going to be left alone for the shot. Shrimp missed the tip in, but there's going to be a Houston loose ball foul on Charles Barkley. Into Elijah Wan, surrounded and fouled. And Detlef Shrimp got it. We're on Shrimp. Into Elijah Wan against Kemp. He's fouled by Kemp. 3.53 to go. 3.12 to go. Elijah won. It is a six-point game, and the last time they were within 16 at the start of this period, Elijah won. Fade away. It's a four-point Sonics lead. Here's Akeem Elijah won with his last shot. He has 30 points in this game. Notice how he created room by lowering that left shoulder, bouncing off of Perkins, and getting the shot. Left alone. Huge rebound. And Houston foul. Five. Kemp travels. Turnover Seattle. A chance for the Rockets to come within three or better. Kemp misses. Rebound Elijah on. 39 seconds. Five point difference. Now the three does come into play. Houston's 4 of 20. Drexler. Three! It's a two-point game. Oh, but Peyton's going to have to make the play. Ten on the shot clock. Now Barkley's defending Peyton. Got a hand on it. It went in anyway with 12 seconds to go. That is a four-point Sonics lead. In a game of this intensity to Charles Barkley. Let's hope he never leaves the game. Drexler missed it. Five point eight seconds remaining. Who gets the three with four tenths of a second left? It'd have to be a steal and a three. Ain't gonna happen. Sonics win the second game in a row. And Sean, Michael Buffer said it in the beginning of the game, let's get ready to run one. That's exactly what it was. That's what it was. It was a dog fight to the end. You know, we had we got off to a good start, but we knew they were gonna come back fighting there in the third period. But uh, we held our composure, built a defensive pressure out, and uh, we played well. I think we handled the pressure better and better at each and every game, so uh, we're improving. The Houston Rockets have never beat you guys in a series. How big is this game from a mental standpoint? It's all about it's all about war. We're gonna go back into their territory. But like again, it's gonna be another dog fight, and uh, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat our little puppy child right there. <laughs>
Hey, you guys came up big. The traps, again, huge early in the game. You guys, I've never seen you as live as you were tonight, body-wise. Right. We, uh, we told ourselves uh, yesterday we we're going to have to come out with intensity. I think the guards doing a good job with pressuring the ball at the half-court area. Gary and the guys coming in there, pressuring the ball, giving us a chance to play the guy, big guys one-on-one -on -one down there. And when you're able to play Akeem and Charles one-on-one, -on -one, that hurts the team a lot because they're used to double teams down low. Now, you had some serious bumps and bruises, got hit in both eyes, got hit in the mouth all over. Tell me how it feels down low in this particular game. Well, you know, the last last series we uh, we play against the little guys. This series we play against the big guys. So I expect the bumps and bruises. I take it, man. I, just, I take I take the win also. You took a lot of bumps and bruises and the win. You go ahead. It's all about, though. You go know, ahead, big fella. That's what it's all about. You know, it's about competitiveness. You know they're going to play us physical, but uh, we can take it. All right, man. Let's go back to Bob at the table.